Hello and welcome to the Parkland Challenge 2015. I'm your host, Mike Coulter. Let's go over the rules quickly. In the first and third rounds, whichever team buzzes in first gets to answer the question. If they are incorrect, the other team gets to confer and come up with an answer. These questions are worth 10 points apiece. There's also a video question in each round worth 20 points. The second round is a lightning round. You get 10 points if you answer correctly, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. All right, let's meet the teams for today's game. I'm Nathan King, and I'm a senior. I'm Mark Davis, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Carice Rogers, and I'm a senior. I'm Sam Conway, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Nathan Heights, and I'm a junior. I'm John Bien, and I'm a senior. I'm Holly Trent, and I'm a junior. I'm Thomas Phelps, and I'm a junior. I'm Don Hawken, and I'm a senior. I'm Nancy Hong, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Edward Tang. I am a junior. I'm Charles Tang. I'm a freshman. OK, we know the rules. We met the teams. Let's go ahead and get started. Who founded the Tuskegee Institute? Uh, Judah, Mark. Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois. Uh, that's incorrect. You guys can confer. It's in Booker T. Oh, yeah. Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington, yes, in 1881. Who made Pinocchio? Uh, Central, Holly. Geppetto. Geppetto is correct. Not a girl. What is the largest and heaviest internal organ of the human body? Uh, Judah, Mark. Uh, large intestine. Large intestine is incorrect. You guys can confirm. Is this the stomach? Is this the stomach? No, it's the liver clocking in at 3.5 pounds. How many carrots is pure gold? Uh, Judah Sam. 24. 24 is correct. He said, a banker is a fellow who lends you his umbrella when the sun is shining, but wants it, but wants it back the minute it begins to rain. Uh, Central Holly. Barnum. Uh, not Barnum. You guys can confer. Uh, Mark Twain. Mark Twain is correct. Good job. Nice. These awards for theater are named for Antoinette Perry. What is she more? What is this award more commonly known as? Uh, Central Holly. Tony. Tony Awards. Correct. <laughs> Orion's belt is made up of how many stars? Uh, Central Dawn. Three. Three is correct. What does the word penultimate mean? Uh, Central Thomas. Next to last. Yes, the one before last. Correct. In what state was the Battle of Lexington and Concord? Uh, Central High. Virginia. Not Virginia. You guys can turn. Kentucky. Uh, not Kentucky, Massachusetts. McKinley Hyde cheerleading coach is played by Jane Lynch on what series? Uh, Judah Mark. Uh, Glee. Glee is correct. Who is the 22nd and the 24th president of the United States? Uh, Judah Sam. Uh, Cleveland. Uh, Grover Cleveland is the right answer. Which architectural staple did the Swedish colonists introduce to the Americas in the 1600s? Architectural staple. Uh, Judah Sam. Log cabin. Log cabin is correct. Good job. <laughs> what cancer support foundation was founded by disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong? Uh, Judah, or I'm sorry, Central Job. Livestrong. Livestrong is correct. In what country is the parliament called the Athingy? Althingy. Thongy. A L T H I N G I. Uh, Central Thomas. Australia. Not Australia. <laughs> Finland? Finland, not close. Iceland. Maybe it's not that close. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who directed the Godfather movies? Oh. Oh. Uh, Central Job. Martin Scorsese. Not Martin Scorsese. Francis Ford Coppola. Francis Ford Coppola is correct. What president, what president invented the dumbwaiter and the swivel chair? Uh, Judah Mark. Teddy Roosevelt. Not Teddy Roosevelt. Ben Franklin. Obama. Not Obama. <laughs> we take the swivel chair longer than him. I did. Uh, Thomas Jefferson is the correct answer. Of the six men who made up the three stooges over the years, how many of them were real brothers? Uh, Judah Sam. Two. Uh, not two. 
Four. Four. Not three, actually. <laughs> Go with what you think there. What Macaulay Coughlin character was left home alone in the 1990 movie? What was the home alone character's name? Uh, Central Thomas. David. Not David. <laughs> Kevin is correct. Yes. Kevin McAllister. Kevin McAllister. What southern U.S. state boasts Ten Commandments Mountain, site of the 300 foot wide tableau of Moses' best known work? Southern state boasts the Ten Commandments Mountain. Southern U.S. state. Uh, Central job. Georgia? Not Georgia. Yes, you confer? Utah. Uh, not Utah. North Carolina. North Carolina. In November 1991, at his home in London, the lead, this lead singer of this music group, Queen, died of complications from a uh, central job. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is correct. Dendrology is the study of what? Uh, Judah Cruz. Trees. Trees is correct. In the X-Men comics, what nearly indestructible element is fused with uh, central tops? Adamantium. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Almost a hard game. What is a thrip? Uh, central job. Tree. Uh, not a tree. A bird. No, it's an insect. All right, it's time for this round's video question. This round's video question goes to Central. Hi, my name is Tony Marie Burkhalter. I'm an associate professor of both biology and kinesiology at Parkland College. My question today is, name the fat-soluble vitamins in alphabetical order. A, B, C, D, like vitamin C, A, I don't like know, yeah. A, B, is it fat-soluble? I don't know. I don't know. Is there vitamin A? Right? Okay, you need an answer, guys. No, no answer. No answer. Dude! <laughs> the fat-soluble vitamins are vitamins A, D, E and vitamin K. Okay, here we go with the second part of this round. Name three of the five Ringling Brothers. Oh my God. No answer, that's kind of tricky. Albert, Otto, Charles, Alfred, and John. Name one of those and I'll be impressed. Uh, <laughs> what is the name of the third eyelid, common to reptiles and birds, which moves horizontally across the eye? The answer is the nictitating membrane. A dialect of which language is spoken by the Amish? Uh, Central job. German. German is correct. Marble is formed by the metamorphosis of what rock? Uh, Central tops. Granite? Uh, not granite. Limestone? Limestone is the correct answer. Which computer co software company destined to have a major impact in the future was founded in 1975? Computer software company. Uh, Central job. Intel? Uh, not Intel. You know it's not. <laughs> IBM. Uh, Microsoft. Oh. The Aurora Borealis is commonly known by what other name? Uh, Central Jack. The Northern Lights. Northern Lights is correct. We've all heard of the gunfight at the OK Corral. Where was the OK Corral? Uh, Central Jack. Oklahoma? Uh, not Oklahoma. You heard of the gunfight at the OK Corral? Texas. Uh, no, it was Tombstone, Arizona. Oh. Was the movie and everything. An 88 acre theme park is Pigeon Forge, Tennessee's most popular attraction. What bigger than life country star singer, uh, Judah Nate? Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton is correct. Who's Ray Kroc? Uh, Judah, or Central Job. Uh, he founded McDonald's. Yes, founded McDonald's. <laughs> what was the name of the first book in which Sherlock Holmes appeared? Uh, Judah, Sam. A study in Scarlet. A study in Scarlet. Is it a Scarlet letter? What is, a, what is the score of a forfeited baseball game? Uh, Judah, Nate. 1-0. Uh, not 1-0. There's 40-0. 
three zero? No, nine zero. Nine zero. I don't know why that is. <laughs> I have a better answer. Gregor Mendel is the founder of what modern uh, central topics? Genealogy. Uh, not genealogy. Uh, Did you finish the question? Yes, sir. Gregor Mendel is the founder of what modern is the founder of the modern science of what? Genes. Uh, gene genetics. We'll take that genetics. Genealogy then. <laughs> Whom did John McCain select as his running mate? Uh, Central job. Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin is correct. What's genealogy? What were the names of Lyndon B. Johnson's two beagles? Crap. <laughs> uh, Judah Mark. Barry and Max. Uh, not Barry and Max. They're both LBJ. Uh, Sputnik 1, Sputnik 2. <laughs> no, that's a good guess. No, it was him and her. <laughs> They're not both LBJ. What element in a pencil allows it to write? Uh, Judas Sand. Graphite. Uh, no, not graphite. Carbon. 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 Carbon is correct, yes. What happens to Violet Beauregard during the, her tour of Willy Wonka's uh, Judah Nathan? She turns into a blueberry. Yes, a giant blueberry is what Violet becomes. All right, that's the end of our first round. We'll tally up the scores and come back to the lightning round right after God. this. My name is Taha Arbaziz, and um, I have taken the pharmacy technician, technician training at Parkland College. Uh, I am a pre-pharmacy student here at Parkland College, so that class is, a, best, is, a, is, a, is a, a very good introduction to my career. My favorite part of the class is learning about drugs, more specifically the names and um, the different uses of the drugs. My long-term goals are um, becoming a pharmacist and um, work at a pharmacy or a hospital and then come back to uh, the university and do research. Okay, let's get started on the lightning round. What car company's logo features three red diamonds? Uh, Central Holly. Chrysler. Uh, not Chrysler, the answer is Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. What was the name of Helen Keller's teacher? Uh, Gina Sam. Uh, need an answer quicker than that. Uh, Ann Sullivan was the correct answer. What year was the first James Bond movie released? No answer. It's 1962. Dr. No. What name literally means unseen one? The answer is Hades. What director's movies include W, Nixon, JFK, Wall Street, and Natural Born Killers? <laughs> Answer is Oliver Stone. This is really lightning -y here, guys. <laughs> what do the four H's represent in the 4-H club? <laughs> Head, heart, hands, and health. Okay. How many years elapsed between the Declaration of Independence and Lincoln's Gettysburg Address? Uh, due to Sam. Four score and seven years ago. Correct. 87 to you and me. <laughs> Martha Stewart started producing this magazine in 1990. Answer is Martha Stewart living. What radical change did automaker Henry Ford make to his employees' work day in 1914? Uh, Judah Nathan. Assembly line. Uh, no, no. He shortened it to eight hours. Shortened the work week to eight hours. Or work day to eight hours. Which fish goes through these stages of growth? Fry, pan, smelt, and gristle. That's the salmon. Who invented and sold the torpedo? The answer is Samuel Colt. Again. When the first regular phone service was established in 1878, how did people answer? Uh, Central Don. Ahoy? Ahoy is correct. <laughs> what is the capacity of a 10-gallon hat? What is the actual capacity of a 10-gallon hat? Uh, the answer is less than a gallon. Who wrote the fantasy novels Game, who, who wrote the fantasy novels Game of Thrones? Uh, Judas Sam. J.R.R. Martin. Sorry, R.R. Martin. Yeah, uh, George R.R. Martin. But yeah, yeah we'll, we'll check on that in the middle there. What is the name that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was born with? 
Uh, Judith Mark. Lou Alcindor. Lou Alcindor is correct. What spacecraft was the first to land on the moon in 1969? Uh, Judith Priest. Apollo 11. Apollo 11 is correct. Yes. Where can you find a current Inca civilization? Uh, Central job. Peru. Peru is correct. And that's the end of our lightning round. We'll tally things up and come back for the final Rape round right after this. this. Rape can change the course of history of a young woman's life, and it has to stop, and the voices need to be heard. Rape is rape. No more. No more saying everything's fine. I mean, what part of no don't you understand? I felt like it was my fault. I was ashamed. I was embarrassed. I lived with it in silence. I say no more because the punishment should fit the crime. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. So far, let's see who comes out victorious in the end. Who said, I regret that I have but one life to give to my country? Uh, Judah Sam. Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale is correct. What was discovered at John Sutter's Mill in 1848? Uh, Sam. Gold. Uh, gold is correct. Can you give the specific names of the third and fourth living people mentioned in the Bible after Adam and Eve? Uh, Judah and Nathan. Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel is correct. They're sons. How many legs does a lobster have? Uh, Central Thomas. Eight. Uh, not eight. Uh, I think it's six because Abel. Six. Six. No, nope, ten. Oh, ten. Which man, successor to Abraham Lincoln, was president of the United States? Uh, Central John. Andrew Johnson. Yes, when Nebraska gets statehood in 1867. The Coppin system is a classic case. Classification system for what? Coppet, K O P P E N. No answer is the answer is climate. What fictional flying game got its name from the Quidditch Marsh? Uh, do you know the mark? Quidditch. Quidditch, thank you. That made me have to say all that. That's great. <laughs> what muscle group of the legs bends the knees? Uh, Central John. The quads. Uh, not the quads. Uh, the muscle group. Oh, is it hamstring? Yeah, hamstring. Hamstring. Hamstring is oh. the correct answer. Where did fruitcake originate from? Uh, Central Hop. Germany. Uh, not Germany. Nine. Switzerland. No. Switzerland is too nice to get this fruitcake. Not sure. England. Uh, not England. Egypt. Oh, I said because oh, I have no What did the S in Harry S. Truman stand for? Uh, central job. Nothing. Nothing is correct. His parents can't decide between two names, so they went with S. <laughs> Very creative. <laughs> a, selena a selenograph is a scientific map of what? The correct answer is the moon. What painter created the famous anti-drug mural, Crack is Whack? Uh, Central Jack. Warhol? Uh, not Warhol. I was going to skip Warhol. Who? So, no, no, no. Who? No, no, no. no, no. You guys don't remember. Need an answer? Uh, Smith. No, Keith Haring. Keith Haring is what we're looking for. If November 1st is a Monday, what day is December 1st? Uh, Central Thomas. Thursday. Not a Thursday. Yeah. It's 28 to be a Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, actually. Wednesday. <laughs> In the game of 20 questions, what is generally the first question? Uh, Gina Mark. What's your favorite color? Uh, incorrect. How about it is, is it alive? I like that. Is it a thing? Or is it alive? Is it, is it alive? Uh, not quite. Uh, is it an animal, vegetable, or mineral? Oh, okay. First question. Of course. Of course. Where was the home of Mormon leader Joseph Smith? 
Central John. Utah? Uh, not Utah. New York. No, no, I'm not New York, it's Illinois. Oh, not Illinois. Well, he said me. Sorry. What position did both these men hold? Louis Frey and J. Edgar Hoover. Uh, central job. FBI director. Yes. <laughs> According to legend, Cleopatra was fatally bitten by which animal? Uh, due to the sand. Asp. Asp is correct. What was the nickname of Star Trek's Dr. McCoy? Uh, central Dom. Bones. Bones is correct. On a thermometer, when are the Fahrenheit and centigrade readings identical? Uh, central Thomas. Negative 40 degrees? Yes, minus 40 degrees. Who is the fourth musketeer? The correct answer is D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan is the fourth. Where is the geographic center of the state of Illinois? Uh, Central Holly. Centralia. Not Centralia. No, it's a good guess. No, it doesn't occur. No, no Peoria is bigger. It's not Spanier. Jacob, let's just say that. Let's say Springfield. No, it turns out to be Logan, which is 28 miles northeast of Springfield. Logan. Never heard of that. Kind of close. In what form of art do artists use chainsaws to create their work? Uh, Sam Judah. Sculpture. Yes, I sculpted. Music. Who was the nymph who, whose unrequited love for Narcissus caused her to find uh, Sam Judah? Echo. Echo is correct. So nothing can be worse than made. Okay, time for this round's video question. This round's video question is for Judah Christian. Hi, my name is Tony Marie Burkhalter. I'm an associate professor of both biology and kinesiology. My question today is, in a human cell, what is often referred to as the powerhouse, where the majority of aerobic respiration occurs? Mitochondria. Uh, mitochondria. The answer is mitochondria. The powerhouse inside of a human cell is the mitochondria, where most of the aerobic respiration occurs and energy production. Okay, let's go to the home stretch here. What is the only planet which, ro which rotates clockwise? Uh, Judas Sam. Um, Venus. Venus is correct. Nice. How many arms and tentacles does a squid have? Combined. Uh, Central Thomas. Ten. Ten is right. Eight arms and two feet and tentacles. You're a tentacle. What Kareem Abdul Jabbar innovation was called the most indefensible shot, uh, Judah Mark? Uh, the hook shot. The sky hook, yes, correct. Ten tentacles. What is an otter's home call? Uh, Central Holland? A dam. No, not a dam. What's an otter's home? Yep. A hollow. I realize that after the end of sounds. A hollow? Not a hollow, a holt. A casa. In casa. Where is the Swimming Hall of Fame located? Uh, Central Holland. Memphis. Not in Memphis. No. <laughs> Canton, Ohio. No, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Of course. I think Ohio things are like collect. How many edges does a cube have? Uh, Central Thomas. Twelve. Twelve is correct. What was the name of King Arthur's sword? Uh, Judas Sam. Excalibur. Excalibur is correct. Who was the first winner of the Heisman Trophy? Uh, Central Thomas. University of Chicago. Uh, no. Uh, you guys can refer. First, the first, first winner Heisman. of the Heisman Trophy. Who was the first one? Uh, 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 the answer? Walter Payton. <laughs> no. Uh, Jane Burwanger was from the University of Chicago. Walter Payton went to Kent State, State. There's no way. Not a school. Uh, what is the longest word in the English alphabet that only takes the left hand to type? Uh, central Holland. Typewriter? Not typewriter. No, no L's over here. So no. no, no, no. Yeah. Any answer? No. 
bookkeeper. Now it's stewardesses. What? Because clockwise owes us What annual competition always ends with a sprint through Shack Tulik, Galovin, White Mountains, Safety Roadhouse, and Nome? What annual competition? Uh, Central Dawn. I did a rod? I did a rod, yes. Okay. What is the most known nickname for the Kentucky Derby? The answer we're looking for is Run for the Roses. Run for the Roses. What style of music is immortalized in the movie Saturday Night Fever? Uh, Judah Sam. Disco. Disco is correct. How many birds in total were, res were received in the 12 days of Christmas? How many total birds? Uh, Judah and Nathan. Two? Uh, not two. How many swans? How many dogs? How many dogs? Seven. Seven. Uh, Twenty-three, as it turns out. <laughs> yeah. What star constellation appears on the flags of Australia and New Zealand? Oh. Uh, Central Hall. Big Dipper. Uh, not the Big Dipper. I think it's a bit. I don't know. I'm guessing. Pegasus. No, the Summer Cross is what we're looking for. Okay. What was the name of the school teacher in the village of Sleepy Hollow? Oh. Uh, Central Hop. Ichabod Crane. Ichabod Crane. Oh, oh the main character was the teacher. Who was the first person to break the sound barrier? Uh, Central John. Mock? Uh, no. No. No answer? No answer. Uh, Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager. Which everyday English word literally means and the rest in Latin? Uh, Central Hall. Et cetera. Et cetera. That's correct. That's nice. What, home, what city is home to North Carolina's annual state fair? Central uh, John? Raleigh. Raleigh, North Carolina. Is correct. <laughs> What's BMI to a uh, central Thomas? Body mass index. Body mass index, yes. And that's the end of the game. We'll tab you the scores and come back with the winner right after this. In the social sciences department at Parkland, we have student workers and we have hired off professional students. They've been very prepared. Um, I've been impressed with their um, initiative and their uh, critical thinking and their customer service. They seem to be interested in the job, which um, it compa I think compares to a student maybe who isn't seeking the profession. Um, they're there to do a job rather than interested in the job. Well, I've had a lot of contact with uh, office professional students through the International Association of Administrative Professionals. Uh, a lot of the Parkland students uh, attend our meetings, and I've been very impressed with their enthusiasm, their interest in the profession, and their engagement. Okay, quite a match in the first game of the Parkland Challenge this year. Judah edges out Champaign Central 270 to 260. We'll be back with our next game right after this.